uh, being joined on the program by Mr. Oluyinka Olumide, uh, who is the Commissioner for Physical Planning and Urban Development. Thank you, sir, for coming on the program. Thank you And I must much. say thank you for your patience. So I want to uh, make the most of this within the short time we have. Uh, so maybe you help us uh, a good place to start. The, 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 what is the, we've seen demolitions. We've seen uh, the Lagos state government trying mm -hmm. to stick with the master plan of the city. Uh, so, but a lot of people have reacted to this demolition uh, that has been going on, saying, look, um, they had either the right document, but their properties are demoli demolished, or the fact that notices were short and all of that. I needed you to respond to that before we get to a few other things. Now, there are laid down rules of uh, properties that can be demolished. And we don't just go out to demolish properties. Now, if you have um, a building on the right of way, it will be demolished. Because the right of way is supposed to give room for the proposed road. Now, if you have a building or property on a drainage path, it's also qualified for demolition. Now, if you also have building or property on gas line or under high tension, such buildings are due for demolition. Now, if you also have buildings that are distressed, this is where we have the challenge. If we have buildings that are distressed and they are marked as distressed and they are proven as distressed by virtue of tests carried out, they are also due for demolition. If you also have buildings that are erected without proper documentation, they are also ripe and due for demolition. So those are the conditions upon which buildings are demolished. We don't just go out to just demolish. So one would wonder, is it that they didn't, do due, they didn't do due diligence? Or there's complicity within the system? What exactly is going on here? Because all of this you've explained should be common sense or if you go to the right authorities to ask questions, I want to, I want to buy this particular property, you'll be shown all of this. So yes. where is the failure from the part of the people here? It's failure from the part of the people or the developers. And believe in me, um, there is no building uh, being done in Lagos here where uh, one of our agencies will not be there to serve them as a way of caution. Other uh, planning permits authority or the building control or the material testing. Mm. At the infancy level, they must have given them notices that what you are doing is wrong, where you are erecting the building is wrong. And I mean, we've not seen anybody coming up on all this that I've uh, laid out to say that they have approval. Because before a building is approved, you have clearance uh, if it's near the waterway from drainage. So if on the, it's on the path of the drainage, you cannot get uh, approval for such kind of building or if it's on the right of way, you cannot get approval for such kind of buildings. But people will on their own go ahead to build, and we give them notices from infancy, but they will still continue. Are you saying also that there are no issues of complicity within the system that allows these things to go up? Out of every 12, there is always a duty that you may have, but that doesn't mean that we shouldn't follow the law. So how much punitive measures have been put to the people that are misrepresenting the government? Well, unfortunately, um, we have uh, cases where uh, touts are approached. I've been saying it, and we've been saying this repeatedly. For you to get your building plan uh, permit, you don't need anybody. Once you have your documents well prepared by your consultants, you approach the relevant uh, government agencies, and they'll put you through. But people go to agents and turn them as uh, government uh, officers. No. I must ask this question because this is important to the Lagos State Government and yeah. to the people as well. Because uh, when people see these demol demolitions, maybe it's personal property or businesses, it begins to create a perception like Lagos is anti uh, real estate investment. So people are looking elsewhere because they feel that if I build now, maybe they come and demolish tomorrow. And maybe do. So you need to address the issue of what is the right process? I want to get a property, whether it's a big one or a small one. Just walk us through the process in maybe one minute so that everybody gets that information yeah, now thank and you. here. Thank you very much. I'll go into that. But let me just give a simple uh, scenario that I just started. Just last week, Thursday and Friday, myself and the team were in uh, uh, Ibe, Juleki and Ekpe Axis. Mm. And you will agree with me, anybody passing that uh, corridor, you see a lot of uh, estates marked. Yeah. Now, we went there. I can tell you from what we saw on Thursday and Friday, 
um, over eighty percent of them don't have approval. Now, the procedure is this: you want to develop uh, something as big as Ednesta. The first thing you do is to get the planning information that what have we zoned those areas for. That's the starting point. Now, in this case, what we have uh, a Greek land, and people now go to the families to buy a Greek land. Of course, they will sell for you because they don't know what use you want to put it to. Now, after buying, before you even buy, you're supposed to check the information on that land, that what exactly are those areas zoned for. Okay, let's assume that you, you for one reason or other, that that wasn't done. Now you proceed, you've paid. The first thing you're supposed to do is a, a fence permit. In Lagos State today, before you do anything mm. as simple as fence, you are supposed to get a permit. As at the point of approaching for fence permit, you will also know the process, the, the, what the area is zoned for in terms of what you can develop there. Now, after that, you have the layout permit for large expanse of land. You know, you can never get layout permit if it is not zoned for the purpose it's designed for or for the purpose you are requesting for. So you can see all these layers, but people still go ahead and start advertising. Some of them have even gone to the extent of displaying the sizes they want to sell. And imagine somebody uh, in diaspora who wants to send money, he doesn't know anything, they send him money. Now, eventually, they cannot get approval. Even if they pass the assignment and the survey to them, we will not grant the individual permit because that area is not zoned for that particular developed purpose. This, this, is, this, is, this is very, very important, which yes. is why I asked a particular group. Yes. Now, is there also a place, maybe now we live in a technology-driven world, because, again, if someone wants to get a property, is there a place you can go to, maybe a website or a portal, to find out, okay, these are the areas that the Lagos State government are saying, please don't go near these areas. We have um, 57 local government development areas mm -hmm. in Lagos State. Anybody is free to approach any of these uh, nearest to them. That's the first point. Mm. You go there, you can get all the information required. Aside that, you can approach the ministry. You mm. get all the uh, information. We have a planning information uh, department. They will give you all the information. You also approach uh, LASPA, uh, Billion Planning Permit Agency. You get all the information. And uh, our website, once you Google it on the... Uh, uh, Play Store, uh, Ministry of Physical Planning, it comes on and you can get all the information of areas to go ask whatever you want to ask. So it's there. All right, uh, bef before we go, because we're totally out of time, I, I know that the Lagos State Government has provided a 90 day amnesty period for property owners and developers without planning permission. I, I will need you to speak to that in like 30 seconds. Yeah, thank you very much. In uh, line with what we just said about, uh, because we've realized that. Um, about uh, over 70% of buildings in Lagos, they don't have approval. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. And that is why we are going all out, educating them that, okay, we've opened this window, a 90-day window from 2nd of May to 31st of uh, July, that come out, get your consultants to generate your drawings for you with all the certification and the... Uh, uh, the test because they are already existing building, mm. and you present them and you get your approval without any penalty. Without any penalty, so enable them to come out. And it's, it's it's so funny because if you get a phone today and you get a SIM card, if it's not registered, you cannot use it. How would they know it's not registered? Because probably the people they bought it from have assured them that we're all no no no. Clear. We are talking of building now. Okay. You own a building. Okay okay. The okay. law says that. That building must have approval. Let's assume for one reason or the other, this approval is not gotten. Now we are giving you the opportunity, free of any penalty. Get your consultant, let them generate the building as existing, bring it forward, and you get the approval. Because after this, again, you'll be talking of demolition. Mm. We'll go after them very heavily. We'll go after them. Okay. Uh, you and I know that this conversation just got started. There's a lot to talk about, so we have to do this again so that we can expand. But there's a lot to talk about as far as Lagos. It's a mega city. But I must thank you, uh, Honorable Commissioner, and I apologize uh, for all inconveniences. Mr. Oluinka Olumide uh, is a Commissioner for Physical Planning and Urban Development. Thank you for coming on Politics Today. Thank you.